What is one thing we all have in common? We eat. Food is part of who we are, our culture, our celebrations, our daily life. But here's something we don't often think about. The way we produce, distribute and consume food is heating up our planet. This is addition of the present's challenge for climate solutions focuses on food. It does so for a very good reason. Food systems account for an estimated one third of global emissions. When forests are cut down to make way for crop fields, carbon floods the atmosphere. The packaging, shipping and refrigeration of food demands enormous amounts of energy and resources. So does the production of chemical fertilizers. Food waste, when it ends in landfills, produces methane, a gas 28 times more potent at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. Consider this, producing a thousand calories of beef generates 50 times more greenhouse gas emissions than a thousand calories of lentils and other legumes. The good news is that our choices matter. Every day, each of us can choose to eat in ways that lower our environmental footprint and protect the world's most vulnerable communities. We can learn more, share that knowledge with others and inspire change. And together we can innovate, we can collaborate to find solutions to ensure that our food systems maintain rather than undermine planetary health. Change can start with you. It can start on our campuses. This year, I invite you to join the President Challenge for Climate Solutions to reshape the ways in which we grow, distribute, and enjoy our food. Every meal is a chance to make a difference.